Hello everyone, welcome back to Shimna Study Corner. Today we are going to discuss the poem, The Voice of Rain, written by Walt Whitman. And this poem is basically presented as a conversation between the poet and the rain. And the rain is actually answering a question that the poet has put forward. Okay, and the question is, who art thou? Which means, who are you? The entire poem is actually an answer to that question. And who art thou? said I to the soft falling shower, which strange to tell, give me an answer, as here translated. So what is it? Let's see the first line. And who are those? said I to the soft falling shower. So here I represents the poet and the soft falling shower represents the rain. So this I that is a poet is asking to the rain like who are you? This is a question put forward and so the rain is falling softly and to this soft falling rain uh, the poet is asking who are you? He feels that it is strange enough. So what does he refer to as strange over here? So he feels that the rain giving him an answer to his question was really strange which strange to tell gave me an answer and now what is he doing as here translated he is translating what the rain told to him for us for the readers now we are moving on from the third line onwards we are moving on into the answer of the rain let's see i am the poem of earth said the voice of rain so the rain calls itself as the poem of earth now why does the rain refer to itself as poem of earth you will be getting the answer to that towards the end of the poem i am the poem of the earth said the voice of rain so it seems that the rain has got a voice and what is this voice over here the sound that it makes when it falls on something the poet is actually inferring a meaning out of that sound and he refers to that sound as the voice of the rain I am the poem of the earth, said the voice of the rain. Eternal I rise, impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea. Now this reminds us something about the water cycle. So let's see. Eternal I rise, impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea. The meaning of the word eternal is never ending. Something which continues forever. This process of the water evaporating from the surface of the earth is going to continue forever. From where does this arise? From where does this water vapor arise? Both from the land and also from the bottomless sea. So here he refers to the sea as bottomless, indicating that the sea is very deep. So the water actually rises out of the land and also the bottomless sea. Now there is one more word over there. What is the meaning of the word impalpable? Impalpable means something which cannot be touched or felt by touching. So the, this process is eternal and the water vapor that arises is impalpable too. What is the next line? Upward to heaven whence vaguely formed, altogether changed and yet the same. Where too does it rise? Upward into the heaven this water these water vapors rise into the heaven heaven here refers to the sky whence vaguely formed whence is the same as when altogether changed and yet the same so what is it as i rise to heaven i am vaguely formed the water vapor doesn't have a shape so here it means that the water vapor when i rise i am vague i don't have a proper shape altogether changed and when i rise up i am altogether changed in my form and yet the same now though i change my shape right from the moment when i was on the land when i change into water vapor and when i go up and form into cloud my form is changed constantly but still and yet the same but still i remain the same now what does that mean whatever form i take i am the same basically Next line, I descend to leave the draughts, atomies, dust layer, layers of the globe. So what is it? 
once i reach up over there after some time i descend descend means to come down descent means to come down okay i descend and why do i descend or as i descend what do i do i leave the drops leave leave means to wet so as i descend what do i do i wet the drops drops here refers to the dry areas of land i descend to leave the drops i wet the drops and not just drops the atomies dust layers of the globes atomies means even the minutest particle on the earth and even the dust layers of the globe globe means earth and all that in them without me were seeds only latent and unborn and then the rain knows its power what does it say all that and all that in them without me were seeds only what is it without me all those things on the land would remain as seeds is that means they wouldn't even be born okay so and all that in them without me whatever is there inside them inside the seeds whatever life is there on the earth would not grow or would not sprout they would remain as seeds only and how they would be latent unborn latent means hidden then and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and what happens and forever and he's uh, the rain is telling again that these things go on forever and what is it by day and night be it morning or evening or night i give back life to my own origin what is it what is the origin of the rain the land the water bodies isn't it so the rain says that what is it day and night what do i do i end up giving life to my own origin and it's not just supplying it with life along with that what happens and make pure and beautify it by supplying life to my own origin what do i do i make it pure and i give it more beauty after that we have two lines in parenthesis so with whatever we have discussed that is and make pure and beautify it till there those were the words of the rain okay now whatever is given in the parenthesis are not the words of the rain that is something which the poet is telling us now what does he tell for song issuing from its birth place after fulfillment wandering wrecked or unwrecked duly with love returns so what is he talking about now now here he is making a comparison now here the word song refers to poetry or poem the word song refers to poetry now he is making a comparison between rain and poem poem is just like rain what does rain do rain originates from a place it goes upwards it wanders as clouds and then finally it comes down to its own birthplace or origin this is how it is isn't it so he he finds a similarity between that and poems as such so what does he say like the rain itself what is the condition of poem issuing from its birthplace issuing here means beginning a poem begins from its birthplace which is the birthplace of the poem the poet is the birthplace the poet is where the poem takes its birth so issuing from its birthplace what happens so once the poem is written down what happens to the poem let's see what the uh, process is the poet gets an idea about the poem he writes it down onto paper and then the po poetry gets published it reaches many people they may criticize it they may accept it and then what happens finally the poem returns to the poet with all uh, the positives and negatives that it has got so whatever comments are being passed on to the poem finally reaches the poet himself so it's coming back to its origin the poem is coming back to its origin the place from where it originated so he finds a similarity between rain and the poem and this is exactly why the rain calls itself the poem of the earth so with that we have come to an end of today's lesson we'll meet in the next video with a different lesson 
Till then, it's bye from me. See ya.